Well, we get onto the racetrack and I'm like, I'm getting into a car and I'm taking a snap from the car of another car, but it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be a wild thing, it's gonna be a whirlwind, it's gonna be crazy. So yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to that. In my head, that's what I'm thinking, you know? So I'm like, yeah, I'm good to go with that. I mean, it sounds like it's fun. Matthew comes through, like he's strapped to another car. I don't know what he is, but I know he's literally attached to the car. And obviously he's taking snaps of the car and he walks in and they tell us that we're about to do the same thing. Now, Matthew's a professional by far. Like he's like, he lives this life and we're supposed to do the very same thing he does. You know how they catch like magazine covers? Like the car's like here, but here you just seen things go. That's what we're doing today. I'm like, no ways. How are we going to do that? So what Matthew tells us is more about, you know, um, our ISOs obviously got to be okay. We gotta, we're working with natural lighting, so catch that. But more than anything, your shutter speed as well has got to work with you, you know, because you, you still got to make sure that you get a sharp shot out of the car, but everything else has got to be blurred out. So he, he lets us, like he literally says, yo, whatever, whatever corner you turn, if you feel that's the way, you shoot that and maybe you might come about with something. So his advice, really dope. I get the classic uh, Porsche and I literally wanted the like the bulky, you know, Porsche, but I got to work with what I got, man. So with this car, I'm looking for the shot that will give me a classic feel to it, you know. Getting strapped in, um, I think Mvelo went first. Was it Mvelo? Yeah, Mvelo went first and obviously, you know, she laid down and I could tell that she actually was actually handling the camera quite well. So I'm like, maybe I could also do the same. I laid down, they strapped me in and the moment I have the camera here, it was just music, it was sweet music. I could tell I could do anything I want to do with the camera. So I'm like, this is the position I'm taking. I'm lying down and I'm taking these snaps and that's it. Uh, the car pulls off. I'm not expecting none of that. I'm thinking, look, it's going to pull off and you're still going to have, you know, it's going to be like roses. It's going to be nice, but yo, it pulls off. It breaks you into another stratosphere. You don't even know what's going on. The, your hands are moving around. It's crazy. Plus, worse, you're trying to get like the full picture of a car. And you're like, this is not working, bro. It's not working. It's not me. It's not the lens. Maybe the camera. I don't know, but it's not working. I'm taking the first shots I'm taking are like horrible. I could just see overexposed. So I'm dropping the ISO, dropping the ISO. Shutter, I'm still on like 1000. So I'm good with that, you know. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to look for a sharpness of, 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 the, of the car. But I'm noticing that the more we go towards the stands, I'm not getting anything because there's too much shade. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not, I'm not really going to be fixated on that. But on the outer skirts of the of the track i'm getting the shots that i want you know on the turns especially so i'm i'm asking him to come closer just come closer and the moment he comes closer that's when i'm getting my shots and i think those are the shots that i was happy about um the driver that you're supposed to capture is too slow so they might be too slow so you gotta like i'm, I'm shouting i'm like yo come closer i need you closer i need you closer he's so far back there he's literally driving that car like a classic porsche i mean you know and i'm like bro I gotta get the shot, you're too far. So that whole back and forth I was having with him and like in the end, it worked to my advantage, man. Just telling him to come closer kind of helps. So I think that's a good thing on my end, you know? La Cesar for one, obviously he's about to go. Firstly, he's positioning, like, but it's classic La Cesar, you know, he's kneeling this way, like, you know what way, he's kneeling that way. And I'm like, bro, like, how are you gonna, and then as the car pulls off, he pulls off with everything. His hoodie goes over him. He's wearing like a bucket hat. It's just crazy. And that's the one thing I think you definitely have to appreciate about Les Cesar. Like whatever element of seriousness, he just brings that thing. He's got that thing about him, man. And he's being serious at that time. That's the thing, you know? But yeah, it was just funny. You just hear him go, ah! Ah! and he's just, you know, but he's clicking away, man. He's clicking away. <laughs> uh, don't tell me about Mrs. Stylist, the icon. Like she's, she got her shades on. Guys, she had shades on, like shades on. How do you do that? Shades on. I, I don't know. She got hair all over and literally she's just shooting. That's all it is. She's just shooting. She's just shooting. She's just shooting. So look, there were funny moments. You know, there were some people that were characters when this was happening, which also just made this fun. And I mean, I, enjoy, I enjoyed everything, man. I enjoyed watching them just go crazy. It literally tells a story that I wanted to depict of the shot that I've got. And yeah, man, I'm happy with it. You know, if the judges aren't happy with this one, now they are going to be happy with this one. That's it. It's a wrap. So obviously, I mean, we walk onto the airfield. We're telling ourselves, look, yesterday we shot race cars. So maybe today we're going to be on the runway and just, we're just going to be shooting planes. That's simple. Look, we find out we're going to be shooting from plane to plane. How are we going to do it? What's happening? Is this all information? Are the planes just 
are planes everywhere are we going too high above and then obviously now people are really really anxious i'm anxious as well john in fact he says look I, I he gets motion sickness so everybody's now starting to worry that it's actually a thing you can actually vomit so i'm like nah man i'm actually gonna have fun on this one but i'm also anxious in regards to what shot i'm gonna get I think the moment the planes were doing, like they were warming up and they, like, you know, the pilots are doing their things, like the planes are flying upside down, backflips are being done. I think that's when we started to worry, like, so we gotta get a shot while that is happening with the camera in our hand, be stable. How are we gonna do that? Taking off the best thing ever. Like, yo, I'm going crazy. Johan is my pilot. Dude was actually in the Air Force, so I'm like, let's do this, you know? Um, it takes you, it literally goes and you just, you feel it and your whole body, like an out of body experience, your whole body, like your soul just leaves your body, you just, that's it. I'm seeing the beauty of the ground, like I'm just seeing the beauty of like, you know, the, the area we're in right now. I'm seeing the other planes, the planes look beautiful, the other guys are taking snaps. It's, it's amazing, man. You're, you're just living in the moment now, you're literally enjoying it and I think, you know, obviously Andrew did say that, look, actually just for one minute of that, just check out the views, enjoy, like just get the G's going, understand how the plane moves. And I think for me, that was what I took in like the first minute when that, you know, that when the plane just lifted off. I'm in the plane, I'm trying to get the shot and I'm noticing that number one, it's not even, I, I don't know, it's not even about, it's literally before you even get to the ISO, the composition, the lighting, you just have to have the confidence first of just, knowing what you're doing because you can just take you can just take snaps so first i'm trying to gather up the confidence because i'm seeing ivan is up here and i'm like he's going he's shooting away you know he's having fun with it i'm like yo i gotta get to that level right now you know so yeah i got a bit anxious in regards to that gearing up to go upside down and i promise you your skin literally is like it's trying to fall off your body the camera just goes back and you're like oh this is what they spoke about when they say the camera's gonna start getting heavy and it's not even guys the camera's not heavy but in there, when the when the when that plane just hits that, it gets heavy again. My plan for right now is basically just to get like a shot that will just give me two views of the plane, but two planes. You know, the other plane could be this way, the other plane could be this way. I need something that's just gonna be crazy, and that's my plan. The moment the, that whole backflip whoop de loop thing happens with the pilots, guys, you still need to like get back to normal because that feeling alone is another out of body experience because you're literally breathe. I don't know, also you lose your breath a bit. I, I feel like you lose your breath a bit. I don't know, I don't know what happens to your breath because your tummy goes all the way up here, your lungs just get tight and you're basically just trying to figure out now, what am I supposed to do again? Oh, take a shot, let's go. I got a shot that was really beautiful. For me, if I'm to see that shot, if I'm walking anywhere into a room and I see that, I'll definitely be like, that's a nice picture. Final chosen picture, um, there was two that had like, you know, the sun flaring and obviously the mountain was right there and the sun is just peaking, just just right above the, the mountain. And I mean, obviously I got, I got Zahira's plane and um, the other one was just too overexposed, but the other one really, really came out crisp. I like the fact that also Zahira is also looking, like she's, you can actually see that she's also still in the, in the competition. So it's a beautiful shot. Like it's, I really, really do think this is the best picture I've taken up to so far in the competition. I think I'm safe because I took the best shot, that's it. I'm finding out I'm in the bottom two with Anele and I'm like, not Anele, you know, because I just, I don't, it's like, I don't see the group without her. I see the group without me, but I also don't see the group without me, but without her. So I'm just having this whole mental fight in me. Like there's just demons and angels that are just going. So yeah, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling right now, but it shouldn't be like this. I'm feeling sad, man, feeling real sad. Not so much about the competition, um, so much about the friendships. You know, you just, it's a routine. You're waking up every day, you go see the same people, getting closer and closer to them. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's the truth about it. Not everything that looks like a loss is a loss. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna win in a different type of way, wherever I'm going, wherever I'm off to now. So um, it's, it's, it's part of life. I think a real winner is a person that understands that sometimes you're gonna lose and that's completely okay. Just take it in breathe in, let the experience happen, learn from it and move on. So I'm still a winner at the end of the day. You know, I'm still, I'm still the confident Tehokoki. I'm still the dude that's still gonna pull up when I have to. You know, whether I know something or I don't, I'm gonna figure it out like I figured out everything else in every challenge that I've been through. 
So it's me being a winner and losing this. It's literally just, just tiny to me. Oh man, my final words are the perfect picture. A beautiful show, you know, um, harnessing growth, harnessing a narrative about how cameras should be used, about how photographers as well should be appreciated. If there's anything I really, really implore people and, you know, brands out there to yo, appreciate photographers, bro. Like, appreciate them, because they catch so many images that just inspire us in a lot of ways, and we don't hear about these guys. You hear about the person in the image more than anything. So appreciate that, you know, appreciate what you're using as well. You know, they gave us Canon cameras, and like I said, we we're all so happy. And I know people are already, like, all the contestants are very, like, they're using it already. So it's, the perfect picture is definitely just, the appreciation factor of it has been nailed by them. Like, I'm really, really appreciative of the fact that I've had this opportunity, man. So shout out to the perfect picture, and um, thank you.